Hi, I'm Ashley from Sunny Maid, and today we are on block two of our building block series. Hello friends, welcome back. I'm glad you're here. I have a whole bunch of new subscribers and that makes me so happy. So I am so glad you guys are here. Welcome to my new subscribers. I'm glad you came back, my old subscribers, and I hope we are having a fun time sewing. Um, obviously that's why I like to do this channel is because I like to sew, so I'm glad there's other people that want to sew with me. Okay, we are on building blocks. Uh, what I like to do with this series is um, teach you guys how to put together different elements of a quilt block, put them together to create a new quilt block itself. Um, you can do anything you want with these blocks. Eventually, I will probably make a sampler quilt um, when I get to a certain point of the blocks. Um, you can take the quilt block and create it into a, I call these repeat, where you're repeating the same block on over and over. If you want to do a repeat quilt, that would be super fun. Add some borders, right? Or you can take it, put it in a table runner, put it in a pillowcase. Um, you can do all kinds of cool things with quilt blocks. So with this series, I also, I'm going to show you one way to do it. I'm going to walk you through how to put the block together. And then at the end, I will show you a second way. I kind of switch up some colors, change things around. And just so you can see how it would look if you changed just a few tiny pieces on it. We're all doing the same pieces on both of them. They're just going to be in different colors and different styles of fabric. So um, let me show you what our block is going to look like today. Okay, this is our quilt block. I'm, I'm sticking with the red, white, and blue theme, as you can see. We are working with a medium and light blue fabric. We have a contrasting fabric, that's my flag here, and a bright fabric, which is the blue. We are going to go through two color quarter square triangles, um, no waste flying geese, and two at a time half square triangles. I do have actual videos on how to do all three of those. So I will make sure I link them in the description box below. I also have videos on how to trim up your quarter square triangles, your flying geese, and your half square triangles. So in the description box, if you need more detail, go watch those videos. Um, I kind of wanted, I put those out first because I wanted to set you guys up for when you put these other blocks together. Okay, um, this, like I said, I'm using red, white, and blue. That's, I bought some yardage to do the series with, but these, this would be fun in um, scraps, or you can use a layer cake. I like to use layer cakes because there's all kinds of colors and fabrics in them, um, really. And then you just need your background fabric. Also, I will do a breakdown and step-by-step -step instructions on how to put the quilt block together over on my blog. I am going to go through all the cut sizes here shortly on the video, but if you want a breakdown, go check out my blog. I will um, make sure it has your cut list precisely there and with the colors that I am using. So that is also down in the description box. One thing to note with this quilt block before we get started, when we make our quarter square triangles, you're gonna end up with two of them. Okay, here is my second one. Hold on to this because we are going to use this in a later block in the series. Um, I haven't quite figured out which one yet, but why go have this go to waste? So hold on to it. We have all of our pieces laid out here. As you can see, we have a light and a medium 
of our blues, we have a contrasting fabric, which is the flag, and a bright fabric, which is D. So to start off A, these are five and a quarter inches by five and a quarter inches. You just need one of those. B, you need four of these. These are three inches square. Um, next is C, our contrasting fabric. These are two and a half inches by four and a half inches. And then we have D, which is three inches. And you need two of these that are three inches by three inches. Now going on to our background fabric, we have E. This is five and a quarter inches square. You need one of those. F, you need one of these. These are five and a half inches square. They're going to be making flying geese. G, you need two of these. They are three inches square. H, you need four of these. Um, these are two and a half inches square. And then you need four I, which are two and a half inches by four and a half inches. Once again, I will have this breakdown over on my blog. If you have any questions about the actual sizes, make sure you go check that out. Okay, we are going to take A and E and make two color quarter square triangles. We are then going to take B and E and make no waste four at a time flying geese, which then we're going to connect C to once we make those flying geese. We're going to take D and G and make two at a time half square triangles. We'll end up with four of them. Then we're going to connect H and I to that to make the quarter unit. Okay, what I'm going to do at this point is get everything set up and I can take it over to the, to the sewing machine all at one time and sew them together. So first we're going to be making our quarter square triangles out of A and E. You're putting right sides together, drawing that line. Um, if you don't know how to make quarter square triangles, go check out that video. But we are going to be doing it with two pieces of fabric, which means we're going to end up with two quarter square triangles at the end. So once we draw that line, we're going to pin them into place. I do like to do that. And we're going to sew a quarter inch down each side of that line. Next, we're going to be making no waste flying geese with B and F. F is going to be our background fabric, and B is going to be the ones that we're going to be putting on top. Once again, make sure you're doing right sides together. No waste flying geese, geese method. Um, I do like to pin these pieces into place. It makes it a lot easier. It helps them from moving while I'm sewing. So I'm going to pin them into place and draw that line and just like with quarter square triangles we're going to be sewing a quarter inch down each side of that line now last is going to be our two at a time half square triangles we have two pieces of each of these two bright reds two backgrounds when we put them together we're going to end up with four half square triangles so we're just going to put them together um, right sides together and then make two at a time half square triangles Okay, when we're done, you're gonna end up with two quarter square triangles and we actually only need one So we're going to set the other one aside. This is going to be trimmed to four and a half inches square Our flying geese need to be trimmed to two and a half inches by four and a half inches and then our Two color quarter square or half square triangles are going to be two and a half inches by two and a half inches. So now we need to go and make our pieces to the block. So this is our center piece. So it's all done. We don't need to do, do anything with it. So I'm just going to set it over here to the side. Next, we're going to take our flying geese and our letter G or our letter C, excuse me, with our flag fabric. And we are going to make four pieces that look like this. I'm just going to fold it over and I'm going to iron it towards that fat flag fabric. So there's our next step. Then for our um, half square triangles, we're going to take letter H, sew it 
to it going this direction, ironing towards the background fabric, and then we're going to sew this two and a half inch by four and a half inch strip on it, and then um, iron it towards that background fabric. Okay, so here is our finished half square triangle unit. You're going to be making four of these, and they are going to be trimmed to four and a half by four and a half inches. And here is our flying geese unit with our um, contrasting fabric. So this is also going to be four and a half by four and a half. So now it's time to put our quilt block together. We're going to start with this one in the middle. We are going to be putting the flying geese unit one around each edge. And then this one is going to come here so that it is pointing towards the corners. When I go to sew this together, I'm actually going to iron it a bit differently because of the um, quarter square triangles here in the middle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew them together in rows. I'm going to iron everything towards our flying geese units. So the top and the bottom are going to go this way. The middle is going to go out. And then when I sew those rows together, they'll be perfectly nested. Okay, now that we have our quilt block together, what do you think? I love the way it turned out. I love the different elements we used. Did you learn something new? Um, just leave comments and questions down in the description box. If you have any questions on how the block went together, make sure you put those also down in the description box. Now that we have this one together, let me show you what it looks like in my other fabric. I used Marbella on this one. Um, I have a whole bunch of bright Marbellas after I did my Beginner Skill Builder Sampler Quilt series. And this is what I did. As you can see, there are a few changes. So let me point those out. I used a pattern fabric instead of a background fabric in that quarter square triangle, and I had it match my half square triangles, that point that's pointing out towards the corner. I also, on our two at a time um, half square triangles, I used the same color that is here, this red, and I actually kind of like it. It almost looks like a wreath, or it just puts that frame around that um, quarter square triangle in the middle and so it gives it a completely different look okay but it allows you to make a quilt block look slightly different i would love to see how you decided to do your quilt blocks so make sure you tag me over on social media instagram i'm at ashley underscore sunny maid i'd love to see did your block turn out like this or did it turn out like this which one is your favorite? I would like to know. And once again, make sure you hold on to those quarter square triangles. We'll do something fun with them in the future. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And once again, questions, put them down in the comments section, and I will see you next week. Happy sewing!